Welcome back everyone. So Windows 11 24 H2 is set to arrive on existing devices with several new features. Mostly Copilot related improvement. Additionally, it brings a lot of big change to Microsoft team. However, that is not all that is coming and we have listed 5 of the best and useful features coming in Windows 11 24 H2. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. So the very first and the biggest change is coming in the co-pilot and this time in 24H2 once you bring up the co-pilot you will find the broader screen with more advanced options and you will be getting the ability to open any kind of settings directly through the co-pilot AI only. For example if you want to open the Wi-Fi settings so if you are not sure how to navigate then you can just give a simple prompt to the co-pilot and it will bring up the Wi-Fi settings for you. So what you have to type here open Wi-Fi settings and this time if you hit the enter key the copilot will respond you back open an app sure would you like to open the settings app for you you will have to click on yes and this will bring up the wi-fi setting and the setting application for you similarly you have to give the exact prompt to open any other kind of settings like bluetooth or any other kind of option that is available in the settings there are many more advanced options has been given in the copilot like in the home page only you can directly open the notepad you can start a focus session, generate idea for eco-friendly living. So this will be a great news, especially for the people who are been using the co-pilot for many kind of purposes. All right, so now let's move with the next major changes that will be regarding with the voice clarity. So Microsoft is extending the voice clarity feature and this feature uses AI technology to improve the audio experience on your Windows 11. So voice clarity employs AI model to enhance audio quality by eliminating the echo, minimizing the background noise and reducing the reverberation to real time. And additionally, you will be also getting the hearing aid option. For that, you will have to open up the settings. Then go to accessibility and here you need to scroll down a bit and you will find the new section of hearing and here you will find the hearing aid option. And your device must support the Bluetooth LE audio hearing devices in order to enjoy this feature. Number 3, Windows has a new feature by the name sudo for Windows which let you run elevated command and this allow you to elevate a command directly from a standard console session bypassing the need to open a new elevated console. And in order to activate the sudo for Windows you will have to bring up your settings, right click on windows icon, go to settings. Then from the left hand menu option you will have to click on system. In the system you have to scroll down and you will find for developer option. Click on it. And here again scroll down a bit and at the bottom you will find the enable sudo option. So in order to enjoy the sudo command you will have to simply enable it. Then it says running the sudo command could expose your device and personal data to security risk to harm your device. Alright so only make sure once you are familiar with the sudo command and you know how exactly to use it once you are sure then you will have to click on yes and then now you can enjoy the sudo command if you need a dedicated video on the sudo command you can let me know in the comment section i will bring up a dedicated video on this sudo feature now number four is the new microsoft team and in version 24h2 microsoft has included a new preview of the revamped microsoft team application and the key feature of the update are ease of access that will help you to join any team meeting with the option to select the desired account or even join meeting without signing in. Then you will be getting the enhanced notification. So the notification now will indicate which team account they are for with personal notification offering more detailed actionable option from the banner itself. And you would be also able to enjoy the simultaneous account usage. So launch personal and work account at the same time with the separate taskbar icon catering to the diverse communication need of users who prefer managing multiple aspects of their living through the teams. And last and not the least, the changes is with the notepad and the notepad is coming with the AI. So Microsoft is also planning to upgrade the traditional notepad experience on Windows 11 with a new AI feature called CoWriter. And this suggests a high level of customization allowing the AI to modify the text according to the user specific need. Furthermore, the AI seems to be context aware providing relevant suggestion based on the document content. 
So these are the five major update coming in Windows 11, 24H2, and hopefully you will be enjoying soon once 24H2 will be released. So that's all, guys, for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe, and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.